Hi guys. So continuing on with my Mother's Day cards, this is a card we're going to make today. And at first you might think that it looks like it was watercolored or done with markers, but in fact it was done with alcohol inks. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna start with is our card stock. Um, we have our card base made up and then we have a black border piece made up, or a mat, I should say. And we're gonna start with this digital gloss cover stock. Um, this is coated and this is uh, from Marco's Paper. I picked this up at the local stamp show that comes every year. I have a variety of alcohol inks on the desk here in the new Tim Holtz storage tin. So you can see that. I picked that up from Tupelo Designs, by the way. And we're going to put that down. And the stamp that I'm using is the stamp I showed that I got from Hobby Lobby. It is a Hero Arts stamp. It is, I don't see a name on it, but it's a large flower. So we're gonna start out by heat embossing this. I did also try this on Yupo paper and I would not recommend it because the Yupo paper does bend and move with the heat because Yupo paper is made out of plastic. All right, and before I heat emboss that, there are some open areas of the flower that I want to fill in. So I have my Versa marker here and I just want to close off down here. Some of my alcohol ink came out. So I'm just going to kind of draw in the areas there where the stamp is open. And there was just a couple spots. We want to make sure that that is pretty solid in most of the areas. Okay, so then we're going to take our black embossing powder. And now the fun part to heat it up. Right, now if there's any parts on here that you see that are still open that you want to close off, you might want to do that to make sure that there aren't any open spaces. I mean the open spaces aren't going to hurt anything, it's just going to give it a more artistic look because the alcohol ink's going to run out. Okay, so now we're just going to take the alcohol inks that you desire to color your flower with. And I always like to start with the very lightest color first. So I'm going to be using salmon, which is a very light, almost a pale, pale pink. And I'm almost going to put that in every um, spot of the flower. So let's move some things out of the way here, okay. So what's gonna happen is it's going to move along 
the areas here that are open and spread itself around and the the embossing almost kind of creates walls just like when you're watercoloring and keeps all that color inside can you guys see there so right there it went out a little bit I'm not really going to worry about it too much at this point because it is the lighter color um, but you just kind of want to saturate every spot of the flower make sure that you get that ink in there now if there are any places that there is any kind of seepage you just want to take a paper towel and kind of dab that up like I said I wouldn't worry too much about it and you can move that around we're not you know even though we're going for a colored in look here it doesn't have to be super precise because again it's going to kind of look like watercoloring even though it's with alcohol inks okay so you guys see that all right so now i'm going to take the darker color now on that other one that i had made as my sample i used um Flamingo, but I think I want to go with a different color this time. I'm going to try this new crimson. All right, so this is where it gets a little tricky. There's two ways you can do this. So I just have some extra plastic here. Whatever you guys can see it. And the first way that you can do this is to go ahead and drip it right where the darkest parts of the flower would be. And you will see that that alcohol ink will very quickly move and spread all over the flower. And this is where it looks really neat and it looks like it's been watercolored. Now, if you're not comfortable with that and you don't like where it's going, I just have a piece of packaging here you know, or a piece of acetate you can grab and then um, grab a paintbrush and you can have more control over where that's going by just dabbing your paintbrush into the colored alcohol ink here and then deciding where you want that color to go. So that would give you more of a watercolored effect. You do have to kind of move quickly because the alcohol inks do dry very quickly So I'm just taking the areas where there's a lot of alcohol ink and just grabbing it and moving it. Now as it starts to dry, you will see that it will not flow as easily. So you can go back in with the lighter color if you want to move it more towards the lighter color or if you want to go in with the darker color again you can pick a little bit up with your brush or if you want to just drip it in there um, dripping it in does give it more of that watercolor look it looks more natural with the way that the inks kind of flow I dedicate this technique to my friend Kim who loves, loves alcohol ink. So Kim, if you're watching, see, I can get in with the alcohol ink too. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. Now it is lighter on the edges, which is what you want. If you don't like that and you want to fill it in, you can fill it in, but I think that's what gives it character. Now when you are cleaning off your area, you want to use either the blending solution or regular alcohol is fine. I have some alcohol in this uh, little squirt thing here. So I'm going to just spray this in the palette there. And this will also lighten the color, but as well as get it off of my brush. And I can still take some of that lighter color there. So it's kind of diluted now and put that in some of the areas and make a mess.
And yes, once again, I would recommend doing this on a craft mat. All right, so that's the main part of the flower. Now you can see there that it dripped out. That's all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean that area up. A couple of things you can do. Again, you can go in with the blending solution um, and try to lift some of that out. Um, but I'm actually just going to kind of cover over it. And what we're going to do there is we're going to grab the lighter blue here, which I have as aqua. And then I have my little foam applicator brush with the with the felt on it. So this is designed to work with alcohol inks. Now I know that they now have come out with the circle ones. I don't have those in my stash yet. And we're just going to put a couple drops of that blue on there. If you want to dilute it more, just put a couple drops of blending solution in there. And you can go direct to your paper with it and watch it spread. It'll be more concentrated colors in those area, those areas. Or you can take your tool and kind of pounce with it and you know it'll for the most part cover up any imperfections or any place that you may have gotten the ink. And just be careful when you get to the edge there you don't want it to lift any of that embossing powder or any of that red alcohol ink there. So I just kind of get as close as I can get it. It will spread into those areas. And another trick I like to do is to take and make like a temporary mask. So just take a little piece of paper towel and just kind of lightly cover up my flower here. And then through this little sprayer, I just have regular alcohol in here. And I'm just going to spritz the outside area very gently. And it'll move that color out of the way depending on how heavy you have that color. Um, if it's lighter or darker, you will see that it'll give it this kind of mottled look. And I think it does make it look like faux watercolor. All right, so then to finish that off, I have a sentiment. The sentiment that I'm using is from Paper Tray Ink. It is the Happy Mother's Day set. And I've already stamped that out onto a piece of black paper and heat embossed it with white ink, or sorry, white embossing powder and banner cut it. So I'm going to cover up my little boo-boo there. Put that all the way to the edge. And if it's not dried completely, you might want to hit it with a heat tool or just set it aside to let it dry. Alcohol inks are very messy. They do stain, but they do look so beautiful. They're so vibrant. Oh, it would help if I cut my paper down. Now I've already got glue on it. <laughs> it's okay. So we're going to cut a little off the top here. Oh, putting it in the paper trimmer with glue on it okay not the first time won't be the last time I'm sure some of you have done it as well now it's stuck to the paper trimmer okay here we go so normally you would want to cut that down before you had put adhesive on it
Good thing it's glossy paper. It comes off a lot easier. All right, so we want this to five by three and three quarters. All right, see, it survived. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put this on our mat here. Put it down. Now I got red alcohol ink on it. We can still salvage this. There we go. Shh, only you guys know what just happened. The recipient of this card will have no idea. Well, unless they watch my videos, but it's highly unlikely. All right. Now we've got it on the card. And you guys know I like to embellish with sequins. So we have some clear sequins here, a little multi-matte medium. The first one's going to go right there to cover up that fingerprint. And we'll put one of these extra large guys on there. Boom! Covered it up. All right, so hopefully somebody's mommy will get it and enjoy it. So there you go. Alcohol painted flower. And that one was in the crimson, and this one was in the flamingo. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, as always, post it below. Thanks for watching, and keep on stamping. Bye!